Yeah. Damn it. Gander Outdoors 150 at Pocono Speedway, huh? It's all there. All right, we're you. doing this again. Let's do this again. I have confidence Wait. in this card now. I take it, Dennis. You're going to just keep qualifying until you hit first overall in the A class, which I highly doubt happens. There's a lot of drivers out there that won't give their setups. I have the confidence now. I think we're going places now. You got the confidence of Dak Prescott if he was throwing an 80 yard deep pass. His rookie season. Come on. We're in 18-7. Bit confidence booster there. Hey, um, explain how I'm going to join that when I'm broadcasting. Yeah. For, you forgot what I'm broadcasting. But I need this. Let's go. <laughs> I'll be there in a minute. I finally found the trigger now on what to do. I know what part of the wall I need to hit to get that time now. Oh dear god. But don't use the wall on every lap. It's not going to work. You got to use it at least in one t one corner and that's three and four. You got to use the wall in three and four. You cannot use it in one and two. You will instantly die. You'll instantly die in three and four. There's a wall glitch in both corners. Yeah, I know, but you got to pick the right one in three and four. I mean, I just, I don't understand. You're 99th. You, you're, you're in a position for a prize, which you're gonna keep trying. No, you need to go higher. You need like, yo, know, if they get me in the 20s, I'm done. Just get me like between 20 and 50, and I'll be done. 20. What? Who are you? You're so damn determined. That's scary. My times are. My times look like I need to be in the 20s and the 10s. I'm running 18 sevens and eights. If I didn't hit that wall. I will probably have been up there. How often are you running 18 sevens and eights? Five oh, laps? that seven came out of oh, that seven came out of nowhere. But that 18 eights consistently. If you if you gotta if you're gonna run an 18 seven, you need to run 18 seven all 15 laps to be in the tour. It's not gonna happen because exactly. the walls gonna fuck it. Everything messes up. Let's do this again. You, you could like work on your setup. <laughs> no, I got it. My setup's pretty good. Right, be ready. <laughs> you know what? I'm taking this to the multi lobby. And I hate doing it because people always push me up in there. Just, that's how. Like yesterday. Voice. How about that uh, running in the Xfinity Series in Jesus League yesterday? Won the race, but the same as that way the championship race was. DC was in the lead. He was at least three seconds ahead of me. And we was like, hey. He was like, hey, we don't need a caution to come up. And I was like, hey, this is championship all first place. I'm in second place. You got a good gap between me. And then he was like, oh, no, not again. I'm going to lose the race. And guess what happened? Caution comes out. <laughs> Caution comes out. I get second place to restart. Then he get wrecked by Tony. And then I chase the lead. I know Caution didn't come out. And I won the race. That dude just has horrible luck when he drives. 
Especially in championship situations, he just has like crappy luck. I feel sorry for DC. I really do. Oh. Uh, I was thinking about between either this weekend or next week. We're just going to do a mandatory, a mandatory uh, race for the league. Preseason Pre testing? Tire test. Yeah, mandatory tire test. Bro. I'm game. Haven't been driving for So, we're just going to do... Yeah, see, we're just going to do three races, you know. We're just going to do, like, one... Uh, Intermediate one road course and one uh, short track. So, so we're just gonna do Charlotte for we're just gonna do Charlotte for intermediate, and then for a short track we're just gonna do uh, for the short track we're just gonna do uh, uh, we're just gonna do Dover. And is that classified as course, a short track? Hey. NASCAR 15 says it itself classifies a short track. I just don't see a short track in that track. I see a speedway. Uh, oh, do we have Napa? In my, all right, I think this is Napa who joins my session here. Napa 50. Uh, that's probably uh, a different Napa. Napa but. Fan 24 is Napa. Uh, this one's Napa Fan 55. <laughs> yeah, He's a Dodgers fan. Fun. Yeah, that, that right there. Napa fan 55, that's a Michael Waltrip fan. And he's in the 55 as well. Yeah, that's a Michael Waltrip fan. Well, we've got four guys in here, but i got films. I don't even want to go. Man. I'm going to let those guys go because I don't need no one messing up my laptop. But yesterday... I was running consistent 18 eights, like for like 12 out of the 15 routes, and do rest me, and I just uh, left the lobby and like, hey, that's why I'm Cheese's League. I probably will win because of my paint scheme. I won, took the green slime into victory lane. each other. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> see, oh my god. Jimmy. You see this, Ed Martin? This is what I'm talking about. Have a lobby for people that just want to wreck Dude, each other. Dude, just ran me in the turn. have a lobby for people that actually want to race, Ed Martin. Get your head out of your ass. Stop giving us bullshit. I mean, it kind of—it probably did help me. Oh, it actually did not help help me at all. Oh my god! Oh my god! A car! What the crap, car? I quit. I quit. Freaking car. Man, I quit faster than Batista did quit the WWE. Fuck oh, them. Okay, they have the lobby. Okay, this session in the lobby, please. Please let me join. Please let me join. Please. Oh, man, you Kevin Harvey, too. And you guys suck because you both run in 16 6. That's your fastest lap. Both of you guys suck. Let me come in this lobby and show you how to run Martinsville, the champions. Wait, way. did you say 16 6? Because if you said that, 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 they aren't sucking, man. They're they're near the leaderboard if they're running 16-6. They're near the top, bro. I think or, you should I say, or should I say 
<laughs> I was about to say, if they run in 16th top, bud, they ain't sucking. They're running, they're running Bristol setups, bro. <laughs> wow. What a bunch of chodes. All right, give me the race start. Do not wreck. I swear, if you guys wreck in front of me. Oh, okay, thank you. You're running the great Kevin Harvey pace game. Glad you wasn't running mine. I had to kill somebody. Are you guys the automatic? Oh my god, bro. Still there? These guys are in the automatic. Don't wreck me. Dude, when I say your car automatic, why is it that slow? Well, thanks for giving me the lead. To, uh, automatic shifts at 9,400, I believe. That's why it's so slow. It waits to accelerate past 9,000 to accelerate, or to shift. Damn it. I hate my car in the beginning. It gets... I hate my car in the beginning of the race. It's so loose. I want to hit lap God. seven so or so. Good. Automatic doesn't change. shift at 9400. I meant to say 8400. It shifts real early for some reason. You use manual, you rev it up to at least 92 before you shift. You'll get a good restart out of it. Because you're winding the car all the way up. I don't know why the hell I said 9400. Okay, eighteen nine. Ooh, good time. Yeah. yeah. Somebody fact check that for me if you're watching my stream. Yeah, right a little now. better. Do a uh, uh, telemetry test to see when automatic switches and then post, go. post yeah, down in the comments. Yeah, just a little bit. Did you drive it in this way? Man, I'm not even getting good times anymore. You're in my way. Get out of the way.
Oh my god, the times are stupid, bro. Freaking five, five minutes in zero. Oh my god. Damn. I'll Yo, this that. is the right setup. It, it almost but, makes me wonder what kind of setup those people are running to be running what they're running near the top. Doesn't it make you wonder just a little bit? What are they doing to their cars to make them get those kind of times? Right, I could get up there, but people be in the way. Lot down traffic in the way. I was literally running 18 and 8 and 9s until the dude got in the way the whole time. Exactly, ran a whole 18-7. Stupid. White flag is in here. All right, we're gonna do this again. It's like three dudes running. Dude, it's like three people in here. Three people in here running custom. And it's it two other like people or Kevin Harvick. Hey, Dennis, you just gotta remember what Chris Digger said. It just bees like that sometimes. Speaking of which, you've been keeping up with the episodes of Chris Dinker? Oh yes. my god. <laughs> Why would they do that to that man? Dude, this man! He said, he said, hey Triple H, if there's one thing I learned in this business, it's always have friends that this man brought out. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Finn Balor and AJ Styles. I was like, oh no. <laughs> He did not just bring out Finn and AJ. <laughs> Bullet Club Unite! I was hyper shit when that happened. <laughs> to say I was fanboys going a little far, but hey. <laughs> I was like, yo! This is nuts! Yeah, and then they turned on him. That was nuts. Yeah, that, that, that really sucked. I mean, I was expecting it because AJ had the money in the bank, briefcase, you know. Still there. It just goes to show you the WWE, you never know who's gonna turn on you. Right, careful now, still there. Got a freaking huge run coming out of that turn. No, oh, no, no, car, car, car. Low lane's clear here. Low is clear. Come on, I'm just sitting here running 19 ones. Give me 18s now. Come on. Come on, car. Stay high, stay high. Still there. Oh, no, somebody, no, lap down, no, Bottom lap down car clear. in the way. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, he's lagging too. Oh my god. This Get out of the man, way. Corbin Forrester, got to be the dirtiest son of a bitch I've ever raced. The oh absolute god. Get... dirtiest son of a bitch I've ever raced. Dude, what are you doing? Why is you driving me in the wall? Oh my god. Can you even get no time now? Yeah, you wrecked me. A quick. All the way back in 30 seconds, thanks to Corbin fucking Forrester. Coming to the green, Piece driver. of shit. Almost ready.
sick of this fucking shit. Let's make some frenemies. Let's make some enemies here. You gonna have a talk with me after the race. Where's Corbin Forrester at? Huh? Where's Corbin Forrester? I thought that man was my friend and he just up and dumped me like AJ Styles real quick. That was a stupid pass. And they go pin me against the damn wall. See, what is that, 7 and 4? You're stupid. You are the worst game manufacturer in the history of game manufacturers. You got computers that pin you against the damn wall because they don't want to give up their line. You're stupid. You should be ashamed of yourself, 7 and 4. Absolutely ashamed of yourself. I ask for better computers, and I get computers that pin me against the damn wall so I can't pass them. Stay high, stay high. And I get jackasses that stop in front of me like that guy. Way to go, 704. I'm trashing you. Again. After that debacle you called NASCAR Heat 2, did you improve with NASCAR Heat 3? Eh, little. It's still the same bullshit from NASCAR Heat 2. Pin you against the damn wall. Exact same bullshit from 2. Cars don't run rails, 704. Get your head out of your ass and make them switch lines. Make them give you room on the track. No, that's too fucking difficult for you. You wonder why people talk shit about you on YouTube. That's exactly why. Because we have to deal with bullshit like this. The people that do enjoy it, don't broadcast. <laughs> okay, Bro, why would they give me the car? It slides in the wall. Wow. Stay low, stay low. Somehow, in 13th. About to be 12. I'm looking to split both of you because I'm not wasting any time behind either of you. Top 10. I don't this dude suck. He running 39s at Charlotte. Oh. That's tough. That's tough. Excuse me, Bowman. <sighs> and excuse me, Jones. Another thing I don't like 704 is when the computer hits you and then you get hit by another truck, it's somehow always your fault that that truck hit you. Well, hey dumbass, maybe you should have moved up the track to avoid my wreck? Then maybe you wouldn't have hit me. Shouldn't be my fault when the fucking computer hits me. Should not be my fault at all. This goes to show you how fucking trash 704 is. Yo, what's up, Tubbs? Well, ladies and gentlemen, for your race, there's your MVP, Harley's Outdoor and Gaming. Shout out to that man right there. Make sure you switch over to his channel. If he leaves it in the comments, go subscribe to him. Aren't you lucky? Top ten that stage. That's worth a few points. I finished top ten, man. Is everybody else pitting? Because guess what? We're not. And we'll move up nine spots. Pace car is off. Be ready. <laughs> Be ready here. <laughs> outside, outside. Why'd they 
do this, man, like this in this challenge. They put William Byron in third. Uh, it's not classified Dennis. for that. I'm in career mode. He's playing online. They put William Byron in third at Charlotte in this challenge. Really? Why? They got Ron Newman second, so who's going to be first? These nuts. Shout out Pretty to IDK slide. player, my man's slide on over to IDK player's channel and hit that subscribe button. Homie's doing big things out here on YouTube, representing for us small time YouTubers. Joy Logano's in the lead. People, if you play Gran Turismo Sport, there is a challenge up on my pro. Create a paint scheme matching my driver suit. And you will win a $20 PSN gift card. Shit you not, I will literally spend my own money to make sure you get a $20 PSN code. Best scheme wins the code. You can message me down below at any one of my social media handles for more information on that. But remember, it has to match my driver's suit. Same sponsor and everything. That's what I'm saying. Also, before I get, you know what I always say in my videos, link in the description box below. Hit that link, sign up, get 15% off your first purchase. Sign up for the league and win a race, get an additional 10% off. Because we looking out for y'all out here. And just like that, we've opened up an almost three-second lead on second place. Told you, we've had a strong truck all day. Despite it being somewhat beaten up. Let's go inside. I'm tired of hearing the outside of that engine. We've got 28 to go out here. 20. I never ran the Roval on this game. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna die. And I was talking about in Teasers League yesterday, saying it's a mandatory. You gotta, uh, like, I think that's the next race next week. The you're Roval in their league. Yeah, yeah, you do. So, I'm telling you, Roval, you're gonna die. Trust me. Yeah, there was like, it's going to be like a manual practice. Everyone has to be in the practice. If you don't join the practice, you can't, can't race. Oh, let me tell so. you something, Harley. <laughs> that Roval is like that ex you hate dating. It's, it's, it's a disgusting track. And I am disgusted for NASCAR even creating it. Apart from... 704 allowing players to cut the track yeah it's possible to cut the track in the roval stupid absolutely stupid I'm sorry this goes out to all NASCAR players around the world if you have to cut the track at the roval of all road courses you are a shitty NASCAR racer and that's coming from a guy who's been playing NASCAR for over 14 years. If you have to cut any type of track, period, you are ass at NASCAR. Ah, uh, speaking of the robo, here's a challenge for the robo. Oh, go figure. And I had to be William Byrne. Of oh course you do. Oh, college boy out there. Because... Dennis is college boy now. He's not Dennis H no more. He's college boy. Who is who is that? Who is that narrating? Who is that? No. Who is that narrating? Oh my God. 
I just realized Lost in Hill was catching us. Whoopsie! Roman Reigns to be away for two to three years. What? Two to three. What? Are you? Are you? Tell me you're joking right now. I mean that's a rumor, but I'm not gonna believe that. I mean I know it's leukemia, and you know, I always told myself if I ever get like cancer or something, bro, fuck chemotherapy. And I'm gonna say it on the stream, and I don't care if I get copyrighted. I'm like me a big ass fat blunt. <laughs> don't give a damn. <laughs> fuck the damn chemotherapy, cause I ain't losing. Yeah, I ain't yeah. Joe has leukemia, not Roman Reigns. Joe has leukemia. I will never participate in chemotherapy because I don't feel like losing all my damn hair. This man's gonna go into chemotherapy. He's probably gonna lose all of his hair when he comes back. He's probably going to be freaking bald, like The Rock. It's not wrong with that. Hey. I just want to know what Austin kind of... Ball. Hey, I want to know ball. what kind of chemicals they putting in that shit to make you lose your hair. I want to know what well, kind of chemicals. Well, I got to tell you, it's not steroids, my guy. I hope it's not steroids. If that was the case, damn, half of my family side from the 1980s would have been jacked up like Brock Lesnar. And we all know Lesnar's on steroids. Don't matter how many times he tries to deny it, that dude is on steroids. I don't care what you say. And for the people out there that don't believe LeBron James is on HGH, you're dead ass wrong. LeBron James is taking HGH, dude. You don't get that damn big without popping some kind of illegal substance. I don't care who you are. Barry Bonds was the same damn way. He was skinny as shit. That man was popping HGH. Don't give a damn what you say. Yeah, the, sh the, the shield died when Joe got leukemia. The shield died. They said this man, Seth Rollins, was balling harder than anybody else. Hey, man, when you come up with a guy like Roman Reigns, the way you came up with a guy like Roman Reigns, I would cry too. Oh, shit. Austin Hill's on my ass. Yikes! Let me just slide in them DMs. Where are you going? Where are you Robo, going? <laughs> freaking Robo Challenge. You got to beat Kevin Harvick to uh, beat this challenge. And this man is like punting me in the wall right now. Don't Kevin Harvick. Uh, Kevin oh. Harvick is like 42 years old. So, hey, Dennis, am I getting this right? They actually made Dean turn heel when Roman made his announcement? Yes, like literally, well, wow. uh, the main event, yeah, they won the tag team championships and then the dude just gonna turn heel on them when they win the championships. How can you turn heel after winning titles with somebody? I get if Batista could do it because he's freaking Batista. But Dean Ambrose? He's not ready to turn heel. He's got too much of a following behind him to turn heel. Stuart Friesen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stuart, what are you doing? Yeah, I don't understand either. I mean, they're, they're the tag team champions. True. And then they made them turn heel. So, so basically, what I mean, what, 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 does that, what does that say for, you know, the tag team division now? That Dean's heel. Like, does that put their title shot thing at risk? Or what? I mean, who'd they beat? Uh, Dolph know. Ziggler and Drew McIntyre. Oh, yeah, those guys. Didn't McIntyre turn on them guys? Well, he turned on the Strowman, but... Well, I think they're tag team over, too, because, uh... McIntyre left Ziggler in, in the match. Hey, hey, Dennis. I feel like I think okay. I know why McIntyre left... Strowman, it's because this Sunday, somebody go get these heads! There you go. Little brow Strowman for you. See, I think, I think this was going to happen, see, out of all the people. Yeah, true. For the Universal Championship match, they put Braun Strowman versus Brock Lesnar for the championship. It's always Brock Lesnar in the damn main event. Why? <laughs> Why is Brock Lesnar even involved in this shit? 
I thought he went back to the UF freaking C. Why the hell are you still in the WWE, man? Nobody likes you, Brock. Go away. We didn't like you in the 2000s when you beat The Rock. We don't freaking like you now. Go away. Nobody seemed to care when Lesnar was getting his ass whooped by Frank Mir in the cage. But oh lord, he gets his ass whooped by Goldberg and the freaking crowd goes nuts! Explain that! Oh wait, I know why. It's Goldberg, famous for the spear and the most iconic undefeated streak in the history of pro wrestling. Yeah, and he beat Lesnar in a minute and 36 seconds. But that's only because he had a bad shoulder. Let's not forget that. That's only because he had a bad shoulder. That match would have gone a yeah, lot longer. I think, oh, yeah, I believe what they're going to do. I think they're going to have Strowman to beat Lesnar and then set up him and McIntyre. I, you know, I honestly wouldn't mind seeing Strowman as champion because after all the shit he's done in the WWE since he came inside and turned it upside down, he deserves that universal title. Let's just hope a guy named Chris Dicker doesn't show up at Elimination Chamber and smoke him. <laughs> hey, Shout I like out to the way they put him as champion in the video game. They put him as a uh, universal champion in the game. I like that. Right. Yeah, I do like that. I thought, like, I like the way that title looks on him. I think it. And Brock's really nowhere cool. near. In the yeah, yeah, room. he's nowhere to be found in that game. You find that odd? Found that a little odd. Brock Lesnar was literally nowhere to be found in that game. Or Roman Reigns. Bro, tell me you saw the John Cena debacle. Oh my, yes. that's not what even that John boy? Cena. That's not even no. John Cena. Hey, did you see the security guard? They got the same voice. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, sir, I'm going to need you to turn. Hey, it's John Cena. <laughs> Chris Danker cracks me up, yo. He is hilarious. <laughs> I see why, like, I've been watching him since he did 2K16. And once I, like, I watched every video he did on 2K16. And from, like, the first video, I was, I was like, this dude's hilarious. I'm going to follow him. And just every year since, I've just been following his career. This dude is crazy. There's this uh, thing where he does this thing off the uh, uh, top rope and he pins him. And his character will start on one side of the pin and then it'll, like, desync and he'll move to the other side. It cracks him up every time that happens. Oh shit, I'm two laps short. Son of a biscuit eating. And his name's John Cena! Do 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 do! Man, John Cena out here looking like an old ass JBL with muscles. I'm sorry, Cena. Cut your hair, fool. That shit looks atrocious. So, has anybody heard about the B-team yet? Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel? It's Axelmania, brother! Hey, I'm in the middle of a career race right now, Tubbs. Can you, like, give me, I don't know, uh, 16 laps? Because I'm a lap short right now. Hey, I don't do it because I like to play career. I do it for the fans of YouTube. Because without the fans of YouTube, I wouldn't be here right now. My YouTube career does not exist without my fans of Recoil's Nation. Hey, it's a Darlington challenge. I wonder how Darlington is in this game. I mean, I mean, it's all right. Well, I mean, if you got a hot seat offer, Tubbs, you would pick 
um, participate in the trucks and skip dirt. Or you can run dirt and run the trucks. I mean, after this season, I'm probably going to go back to dirt and just not run an Xfinity because I don't really care for Xfinity cars. Um, I get if you do the hot seat challenges, you should be able to start your own team in dirt. That's what I did. I was able to start my own team just from hot seat. But I mean, you could join a team and have expectations, or start your own team and have literally no expectations to perform however the hell you want to perform, which is wreck people and get wins, or race them cleanly and get wins. Me, I, I battled out with them. I finished first probably three out of 14 of those races, if I was lucky. I'm lucky to have four wins in this truck series. I'm trying to work on win number five right now. Freeze it, I'm on your ass! Freeze it! Oh my god, Yeah, you do actually. You uh, do custom car, or custom paint booth or some shit. Hey, don't hit him, don't hit him, don't no. hit him, don't How bad hey, is we sure run Dollars. How? Uh, like, the part where it got below the uh, white line, like, you know, when you go down there, you automatically spin out, you don't even spin out no more. Oh, that's good, that's nice. Are you sure that's not with stability help win, though? This is off. Okay, that's nice. That's, that, that's an improvement. That's an improvement. It seems like every uh, you time... Can even... Yeah, go yeah ahead. you can take yeah you can take the pass below the one I know, which is good instead of spinning out. See, it seems like every time 704 fixes one problem, another problem fucking occurs with their game. <laughs> if it wasn't spinning out, it's the computer fucking hitting you 24 seven. Oh, uh, I take uh, I just uh uh I take everything. I just sit back. He spun out. <laughs> I just run out. He's so out. Dollar <laughs> I'm oh, done. Dollar oh, you're clear. oh Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. And three and four is good, but in one and two is still messed up. Why work on one turn and not the other? That's what I'm saying. I'm confused, man. Like, this man in three has and a four, I. Right here, yo. Bro, in three and four, I easily rode that bottom line and just passed the dude. But in one and two, I tried to do it, and I just spun out. Uh, I got to do an Austin Dillon challenge. Are you serious, man? Well, guess what? I'm about to. Well, guess what? I'm going to do the exact same thing. Come on, damn it. Let me clear him. Of course, my truck dies halfway through the damn thing. I don't have engine damage, so I don't know what the problem is. I just don't think I don't think I have enough power in this truck to get past freezing. Oh, he's coming up on lap traffic. Mm. Oh, he on lap traffic. Oh, he on lap traffic. Oh, see ya, freezing. You're in lap traffic, bro. See ya. That's going to take you a lap or two to get around that. Or you'll get around it in the first freaking turn. I do believe I am still a lap short on fuel. So when they hit 59, Freeson will be good to go. So what I'm supposed to do in this challenge, I'm supposed to spin out Eric Amarola and win the Daytona 500. That's messed up. Why are you even thinking like that? You are not a dirty driver, Dennis. You are not. A oh dirty my driver. God! It got me stuck in the wall. All right, we have to pull a deal right here. I'm in eighth place. We got to get the first and one lap. Oh my God! Yo, who's behind me? Come on, let's draft, Bubba. What are you doing, draft man? I still, to this day, don't understand why that man calls himself Bubba. 
like when you think of bubble you think of black ops 2 bubble but then again they uh, we're not gonna win the Daytona 500 uh, I, I'm not gonna rag on Daryl Wallace too much because they used to call me bubbles in high school so it is what it is man Ah, uh, challenge failed. Did not win the Daytona 500. But Denny Hamlin wins the Daytona 500. That's not good either because he already won this shit. Aren't you a Denny Hamlin fan? Yeah, but see, we don't need to do this again. We need to... Dude, I don't understand this challenge, bro. It makes you fly in the wall as soon as the challenge begins. What kind of challenge is this? You got Chris Butcher in third place. You got AJ in fourth. They just moving out of Stuart Friesen's way. That's stupid. Alright, I'm in second place. Eric Amarol is in first place at the Daytona 500. I will spin out Eric Amarola, bruh. I will make history again. But I can't because freaking Hamlin in the way. Oh my god, man. Let me recreate history again. Or should I make new history? Oh my god. Who breaks in the... Oh my god, who breaks? Who breaks? And Denny Hamlin. Hamlin rats me. Hamlin rats me. Well, guess what, Chris Buster? You're getting rat too because of no reason. Ah, this challenge is pretty hard because of Denny Hamlin. You don't watch my fuel. The hell with the leaderboard. Stay low. Hang tight there, driver. Hold this line here. Clear all around. I think I, I think if I need to push Eric Camarola, yes, it's gonna work. Now I can wreck Eric Camarola. I still feel bad on saying that. I tried to wreck him and it didn't work. Oh my god. But I think this has should have ended right here like this. It should have ended like this. That's a much better ending. <sighs> Strategy comes into play at this point. to go. What's the next challenge? Oh, Jimmy Johnson challenge. Get Jimmy Johnson okay. to win that Dover. Somehow I extended that fuel just a little bit, so I need to do that again. If I could extend a Rod Newman challenge to turn three, I should be good on gas to the end of the race. But I've got to be able to extend it past turn three. At least turn two. I'd be more comfortable running out on turn two than turn three. Five to go, driver. Whoa, I just about extended it all the way. <laughs> I play it safe. I can extend this. 
If I know what I'm doing here, I can play my fuel strategy just right. Pending. Dalton Sergeant doesn't hold me up. And that's a wall. God damn it. Nope. Putting a block on you, dude. You ain't passing me. Fuck out of here. I will block your ass already, dude. You are not taking this fifth win from me. I will be damned. I do all that hard work, save all that fuel, and you go take the win right at the end. You are not taking credit for this race. Kiss my ass, Stuart Friesen. Kiss my yellow Jags number two driving ass. You're not beating me. Stay up there, Dalton. Block him. Stay the hell up there. All clear. Ah, okay, give me some room. Give me some room. Give me some room. <laughs> this is nerve-wracking. I don't like this shit. <laughs> Please tell me that's Matt Crafton in front of me. Please tell me that's either Enfinger or Crafton in front of me, damn it. I think that's Crafton. Ooh, Matt, come here! Come here, Matt! Get your ass back here! Come here! I need you to block Stuart Friesen! Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! I need his win, damn it! Don't you, don't you, don't you! Oh. oh, no you don't. No you don't. Oh shit, somebody blew an engine. Ooh, somebody blew an engine. Ooh! 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 NASCAR! Oh, 704, I fucking hate you! That is a caution in real life! I hope 704 goes fucking bankrupt! That is a fucking caution in real life, dude! What the actual fuck? God damn, dude! I swear to God, bro. 704 finds every way possible to fucking rip off their players. I'm gonna finish fucking near 10th, cause 704 don't want to call a caution when a fucking car beelines to the fucking wall. What the fuck? I hope the son of a bitch grenades. I don't fucking care. Fucking reason. To not call a caution there. You saw the damn car beeline into the wall. What the hell is you doing? You got a pit. Bring her in. You're low on gas. Kiss my ass. I'm running this damn thing till it explodes. I'm mad as shit. I'm mad as fuck right now, dude. Bullshit. Fuck 704. Fuck Ed Martin. Piece of fucking shit. You're as bad as Ronnie 2K. And I hope nobody buys NASCAR Heat 4. After that shit, I hope nobody buys NASCAR Heat 4. I hope you sons of bitches go bankrupt. Because that's bullshit. Fucking Stuart Friesen. Son of a bitch. Kiss my country ass. And on that note, I'm out of here because I am extremely heated after that race. Because we had win number five, and guess what? NASCAR and 704 fucking screwed me. Just like always.
Because that's all they know how to do is screw people. Yeah, I'm about to get on, bro. MVP of the chat, Harley's Outdoor and Gaming. Go subscribe to him, man. Fucking Stuart Friesen. Ugh. I apologize for the language, but ladies and gentlemen, this is ridiculous. Absolutely. I had that win. This is fucking ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Ugh. You know what? I wouldn't even like this video because it was an ultimate failure. Just... Bye.